Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about bad recommendations on YouTube. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on a video that I made quite some time ago and it was a video where I said the name of the video is if I can't get a programming job should I start my own company and the short version of that video is that yes that's what I'm basically going to recommend to you if you have tried all the things you've done all the work and studied until you're blue in the face and you still can't find any any work as a software developer then doing a freelancing thing or something like that is a very good thing now this person writes you this is YouTube's solution to every problem in the world just be an entrepreneur bruh what good does starting a company with zero experience and no product in mind do for you? Well, uh, the uh, snarky tone set aside, uh, let's try to be. Let's try to explain this in terms that someone who seems to not understand how things work uh, can understand. So. When I say that you start your own company due to the fact that you can't find any other work and you have no experience, uh, that's you describing a very unideal situation and me trying to tell you that this is kind of all you can do. I feel that that would be very obvious to any anyone really. Uh, the reason why I recommend starting your com own company is not because I think that that is the best thing for you when you have zero experience. It is the only card you have to play if you want to be a software developer. Now the benefit to doing that is that it gives you an opportunity to do real software development so that you can gain experience. And as I mentioned in that video, it might not be right now a good idea for you to go on the job hunt in some IT company. You can still do that even if you're running your own small time consultancy or one person freelancing gig. Uh, but you are now acquiring, acquiring experience rather than sitting around doing absolutely nothing apart from maybe watching us the same tutorials over and over. And that experience is something that you can put on your CV, increasing, further increasing your chances to go to the next interview and have someone think hey this person actually knows some stuff that's kind of the whole deal that's all the whole like that's the whole suggestion i can't really understand why like, i mean i understand you in a sense because of course there's quite a lot of people out there who are content contributors or youtubers who seem to uh well they yeah just do your own thing and sure uh, you can probably do that, uh, it, but it's not for everybody. But the thing I was trying to tell you was a fairly serious, like it was a serious answer, which, and it's honestly, as I said, it's probably the only answer to this question, because you don't have any other choice. Uh, even, I mean, it's, uh, the, the reality is that currently it is a little bit of a golden age for programmers. So if you're worth anything as a software developer, uh, I can promise you that you will be employable uh, and unless you uh, unless you're not at that level that people expect software developers to be and you get turned down for everything well then your only choice is to do this or switch professions it's the same deal for literally everybody and I've said so many times before the first job is the hardest one and it's always going to be that way and so this person replies back, if nobody wants to hire you because of a lack of experience, why would they hire you as a freelancer? Well, uh, because the standards of an IT company and that of, I don't know, a small bakery or a pizza shop or your mom or one of your friends is usually going to be a little bit lower. That's why. And as I said, it's not an ideal situation. It's not, and this is not an ideal solution. Uh, but it's the only one you have. 
until you can meet the expectations of the industry uh, or you can quit uh, the, these are the only options and I'm sorry to be the one to tell you but if you do not meet the expectations of whoever's doing the hiring in IT nobody's gonna care about getting back to you nobody's going to offer you a position anywhere until you can meet those expectations and so it's up to you to decide do you, like how do you want to deal with that do you want to go and look for some type of other profession because there's some there's a lot of other stuff that you could be doing apart from programming do you want to try to do your own thing as I'm suggesting as I said I think it's a very good option if nothing else is gonna work for you because at the very least you might get some experience and maybe a little bit of money or maybe it turns out that hey yeah uh, you can actually make it on your own and you don't need anybody else who knows if you don't try uh, but uh, nothing's going to change if all you do is sit around with the mindset that well if I don't have any experience and I have no ideas and I have no motivation to do anything well then I'm fucked right because this is at least my opinion the world owes you absolutely nothing it's up to you to figure out how you're going to make things work for you uh, and do the best you can with the cards that you have been dealt so what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why I suggest to you that if you're finding it hard or practically impossible to find any type of employment as a software developer uh, then your only real option is to start your own company or do some freelancing work or you mean you can of course make your own portfolio products but I assume that you've been doing that sort of thing uh, because it is the only option usually the thing that dictates whether or not you get a and get work as in a real IT company is how good are you at this this thing uh, at software development how much experience do you actually have and can you produce the results needed and unless you can meet the expectations of wherever you're trying to find work nobody's going to hire you and so you're left with a choice either software development is too tough or it's something that's not really it's not something that you that you are equipped to do and you can find many other places of work uh, or you're gonna have to figure out a way to make your CV good enough to get employment in a real IT company and nobody's nobody claims that that's gonna be easy but it's the same deal for every single person who wants to be a software developer have a great day